What's up, JPC gang? Welcome back to another episode of Jam Pack Cooking. That's right, your boy Chef Ray, Mr. Mike. Today, I'm gonna show you how to do the salveberry steak. Crispification, juicification, flavorification, whole man steak. And the creamification, and you know we're gonna bring the education. This is another episode of Jam Pack Cooking. Let's eat 48. So what's up, gang? We doing this Sideberry steak today. You know what I'm saying? This is the, the Poe Man steak. Poe Man meal, whatever you want to call it, but it actually was created by a doctor in the 1800s. Dr. James Henry Sideberry. You got a green bell pepper, red bell pepper, these sweet peppers, and an onion. Half of the onion, we're gonna dice it. You done seen me do this a thousand times. Come in, bring it to the back. We just won't mince onion on this one. Make sure everything is about the same size with your minced onion. Slice it, it's gonna be for our gravy. Brown 30 weight gravy, baby. Half of the mince, half of, half of the onion sliced. About a quarter cup of minced green bell peppers, sweet peppers. Minced green bell pepper, red bell pepper. Two sprigs of scallion going to our meat mixture. All right, so we got some lean ground beef here. It's about a 90-10 mix. You can do an 80-20 if you want to give you more of the fat content. In this dish, I find that the leaner mix is going to give you a better flavor when it comes to this sour berry steak. It's going to make you think you're cutting it to a real steak. We got about a pound of that lean ground beef down. We got the peppers and onions and scallions going in. I'll leave the exact recipe down in the description. You know how we get down to JPC game. To that, we're gonna add in about a tablespoon of minced garlic, a tablespoon of magic dust. No base ability. BigSmokiesBBQ.com for your magic dust. A tablespoon of SPG. A tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. We're going in with one egg. Get in there with your clean glove. Give it a mix. We got our ground beef mix. If you got the time, you want to let that marinate anywhere from two to ten hours. Overnight is better. The longer it sit, the better it gets. Get off into the fridge. Let it marinate for a couple hours. All right. We let it go for about an hour and a half went by, and we got the marinated beef, baby, for the side berry steak. In this bowl, we got about a cup of flour. You're gonna need enough to dredge the steak in, but before we do that, look. We got some cast iron down. Beef suet, beef fat. This is what we searing this meat off in today. About a tablespoon, maybe two. It's gonna get these sour berry steaks another flavor, another depth of flavor, baby. The flavorification is going to the max. The beef fat, baby. You want that to melt down real good, let it do its stink thing. Just make sure it make us about four or five patties. We're gonna go right into the flour. Pat it down, it ain't gotta be no heavy dredge. We're gonna make sure we get our steaks coated in the flour. Just like that, and right into the skillet. Give them a present, make sure everybody's making good contact. You gotta get the crispification on the bottom of these things, baby. That's what this AP flour is gonna do. This AP flour is gonna give you the crispification. Quarter pound in your hand. Yeah, these are big steaks. We're not going with them wimpy steaks, baby. No wimpy steaks this way. Everybody's making contact. We got them on a medium heat. We're gonna let them do their thing on this side for about three minutes. Three to four minutes. We just want to form that crispification on the bottom, that crust, and they won't give them a turn and let them do the other side. And I'll show you where we go from there. Cooking, baby. Let's go ahead and check them, gang, see where we at. That's what we looking for, just like that. Crispification on this side. And we ain't trying to cook them all the way through. We just want to get enough to where it'll hold its shape in the beef fat. Let them go another three or four minutes on the back side, then I'll show you what we're doing next. It don't take long. This is real quick, simple, easy, to the point. Steaks have been seared off. We got the crispification, baby. Pull them out the pan, set them to the side. Got the fawn left over, the little meaty pieces from the beef. We're gonna get us about another tablespoon of EVOO down. Going in with our onions, some bell peppers. I'm gonna saute these off. We're not trying to cook them through. We just want them to become a little translucent. Soft, just a little bit, not all the way. Saute them for about two or three minutes in that skillet. Teaspoon of magic dust. Teaspoon of SPG. We like it extra peppery, baby. Tablespoon of black pepper. This is gonna take our gravy to the next level. Beef bouillon, it's crucial. <laughs> Tablespoon of the beef bouillon. Give it a mix. Going in with some AP flour. The more flour you put in, the thicker it'll be. Two tablespoons of AP flour. Cook it down, we wanna make sure we got enough flour to fat ratio to where to cook down just right. No base ability. You cook that flour out for about a minute, maybe two minutes. Teaspoon of browning. Beef bone broth here. This beef bone broth is gonna give you a depth of flavor that water can't do, H2O can't do. Let's go in with a cup of that to start out. Add in a cup of water, agua. 
These beef patties right back in, right back in the gravy. Get all that juice in there, don't leave none of that out. That's flavor, baby. I want enough liquid in my pot. It's enough to make sure that we got these patties submerged just right. So we're gonna go in with about another half a cup of this beef broth. Bring that to a light boil, cut it down, let it simmer. And it's gonna simmer until that, that gravy thicken up and the meat gonna cook the rest of the way through 15 minutes. After you bring it to the simmer, cut it down to low heat, let it simmer for about 15 minutes, then we'll check it from there. When we come back, we gonna have the best side berry steak you done ever tried, baby. JPC gang, let's go. Moment of truth. 15 minutes later, baby, I'm finna show you something. That... Check this out. Mm-hmm. We got that creamification. Look at here, baby. Get in here, gang. Look at that, 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 that 30 weight gravy. Yes, Lord. <laughs> it's time. Let's plate it up, baby. Look, so check this out. Garlic mashed potatoes. If you don't know how to make garlic mashed potatoes, this is a great recipe. I'll leave it down in the description. We're gonna line our plate with these garlic mashed taters. Good fluffification down on the bottom. Plate it up family style. You know we gotta do it big for the game. We bought out the garlic mashed potatoes. Topping on the taters. Get there, man. You got that, that, that gravy them built up around them, them patties, beef patties. We'll line them up on the taters just like this. One for you. Oh, don't worry about it, gang. You know I got you and no slipping. One for you, no problem. I got you. <laughs> Come on, baby, we ain't forgot about you down here. One for you. You don't want to skip this part. Family style, right over there. I know, gang, I know it's hard, but you deserve it. You deserve it, you worked hard this week. You deserve the 40 weight gravy. I warn you, I like it a little peppery. It's a little extra of the black pepper. Spiceification up top. And then we got a gourmet. Get in there. Make it rain with the greenery. Muy bonito. The best salisbury steaks. Chef Ray, Mr. Money. Yes, dinner is served. <laughs> you know what time it is, gang. We got to try it out. Right on the plate. Straight down the middle. Look how tender that is. You don't even need the knife. That's the perfect bite, JPC gang. <laughs> I'm going back in. I got you. This is the best Southberry steak you're going to ever wrap your soup coolers around. <laughs> One more time. Mm, 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 mm. Tens all the way around the board. You still got that bite like a steak because we use that lean ground beef. But it's, it's enough fat in there, just enough fat to make you think you're eating your ribeye. This is not a poor man's meal. Southberry steak. Once again, JPC gang, this is another banger, another classic down in the books. The recipe will be down in the description. Make sure you try it out. Leave it down in the comment. Let me know what you think about it. I appreciate you for watching. Appreciate you for tuning in. Make sure you go smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell. Cause we always jamming and cooking, baby. Until next time, peace and love.